What's up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from my NHL show. If you check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on Odds.com. We move on. Next up, 7 p.m. Eastern, New Jersey Devils at Washington Capitals. Devils 8, 11, and 2, 6, 2, and 1 on the road. Washington Capitals 14, 6, and 4, 7, and 3, 7, 3, and 2 at home. We're at Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. This total is at 6. It was originally juiced to the under, and then it's come back. It's come back just five cents at some of the licensed legal books. Some of the offshores have moved at 10 cents towards the over. I have interest in this under, but I haven't pulled the trigger, and I may not. But I have interest in it. Oh, my God. Did that go? Oh, sorry. I thought that goal got called back. Okay, stay focused. From a... Money line perspective, the Capitals opened up at minus 210. Money came in on the Devils. They're down at minus 192. For me, without Nico Hischier, I'm not going to bet on the Devils. Hughes has not stepped up. The guys they brought in over the KHL from the KHL over the last couple seasons have not been as good as they hoped for. So it's not my money that's been going on the Devils. I'm on the Capitals minus 1.5 at plus 120 here. I thought about taking the minus one line. I worked it out on my calculator to get a minus 133. I came close to it, but I decided not to. Scott Wedgwood will be in between the pipes for the Devils, I think. I mean, I don't know how you don't go back to him after that shutout, 40 save shutout against the Bruins. He's 2-3-1, and 2.33 goals against average, 9.23 save percentage, two shutouts. Mackenzie Blackwood, 5-6-1, 2.97 goals against average, 9.04 save percentage. He's being below average, and he better step up or he'll lose a job to a journeyman. Devils power play, 12.9%, not being good. You can blame Jack Hughes for not developing at the rate maybe they were hoping to. You can also blame this defense, which is weak. Their penalty killing is god-awful, 65.1%. You know who you don't want to see on the other bench when your penalty killing is shit? Alexander Ovechkin. You don't want to see Kuznetsov, Backstrom, Carlson, Oshie. Capitals power play has been okay. It's, I mean, it's a good number, 26.2%, but they can do better. They can be a plus 30% power play. Their penalty killing has been great all year, 82.1%. The Devils snapped their five-game losing streak in a 1-0 win at the Bruins on Sunday, and they needed Wedgwood to stand on his head to do it. Hughes, Pavel Zacha, Zach, or Miles Wood. I mean, these guys, there aren't enough. Igor Sharangovich, Nikita Gusev. These guys are supposed to come over to KHL and show the quality of that league. Well, what they've shown is... They're below average players in the NHL. Now it's going to take time. Now they're young kids, but their Corsi figures are ugly on offense. They're ugly on defense. The Capitals have won four or five. They're coming off an impressive 3 1 win in Philadelphia on Sunday. And it was an extremely important win because Ilya Samsonov's first great game of the season. They need this guy to be huge between the pipes. And they got a little sign from him that he's ready to go. He had a lengthy bout with COVID. It looks like he's ready to get hot. It hurts to lose Tom Wilson to a suspension. He's going to be missed, you know, for the next three weeks. But this is an excellent hockey team. I have them to win the Stanley Cup at 16-1, to 1, and also I took them again at 22-1. to 1. They're deep as the ocean, baby. Ovechkin and Kuznetsov have not found their form. When they do, look out. Capitals minus one and a half. 